Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Preschool. I'm Miss Cindy and I'm glad you joined me this morning. I'd like to say a special good morning to my friend Anna in Oregon. Hi Anna. And to Claire Kay who I got to FaceTime with the other day. We got to talk and it was so nice to talk and see you Claire. Good morning. And my friends Abigail and Elizabeth and Teddy. Hi guys. Nice to see you. I wish I could see you. And my friend Daniel. Hi Daniel. I'm so glad you can watch now. I bet you're making wonderful things. You are such a good creator. I bet you've made some wonderful things with your Legos and your blocks. It's nice to have you watching today. And my friend Christine. Hi, Christine. I hope you have a good morning. Nice to have you here. So let's sing our good morning song. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with smiles on our faces. And this is the way to start a new day. Good morning. I think we should do some counting this morning, and I picked a very big number for us, but I know you guys can count all the way up there. It's number 27. That's a big number, isn't it? 27. Let's start at number one and do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's a very big number. But you guys are getting so good at your counting. I'm proud of you. We also have a new letter today. Letter S. One of my favorite ones to say. S. Sounds like a snake, doesn't it? Well, let's get our chart down. And we will do our alphabet. Here is our letter S. Well, let's do our alphabet first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And here is our letter S. It's an orange S. Uppercase S and a lowercase S. S like the word sailboat. Sailboat and S like the word shell. It's a different one. When you put an S with an H, it makes a shh sound. We also have some things in our S bag. Well, let's do our Sky Riders in the Sky first. Put your Sky Riders in the Sky. S is kind of a difficult one to make. You have to cross over in the middle. So you start at the top and go over to the other side and then back around. That's the uppercase S. And the lowercase S is the same thing, it's just smaller. Over and then across in the middle and then back around. So that's the letter S. In my S bag today, I have a spider. Spider begins with the letter S. And we already talked about a snake. Snake begins with the letter S. And I have a little, whoops, snail. Snails begin with the letter S, snail. And I have a submarine that begins with the letter S, submarine. And I have a squirrel, squirrel begins with the letter S. And a shell begins with the letter S. And a sand dollar. These are very cool, sand dollar. So all those things begin with the letter S, and lots of other words, too. There are lots and lots of different words that begin with the letter S. So that's our letter today, the letter S, uppercase S, and the lowercase S. I think it's time for a Bible story. Our Bible story today is about a man who said thank you, and it's from our Read Aloud Bible Story book by Ella Lindwald and Ken Puckett, and it is the story found in Luke 17, 11 through 19 in the Bible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 men were very sick. They were so sick the doctor couldn't make them better. They were so sick. They couldn't stay with their mommies or daddies or boys and girls. They had to stay outside all by themselves. All of them wanted to be well so they could go home. 
One day, the ten sick men saw lots of people coming up the road. Look at all the people, somebody said. And look, isn't that Jesus? It is Jesus. He can help us. Jesus was far away. So the men yelled in their big voices, Jesus, help us. Jesus, help us. Now, Jesus knows everything. He knew what they wanted. Right away, he called back. Go to the men who work in God's temple church. Let them see if you are still sick. I'm glad to tell you the men did just what Jesus said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sick men started down the road. Step, step, step. All at once, somebody said, oh, My hands, they're better. And another man said, oh, My arms, they're better too. Somebody else shouted, Jesus has made us well. Now we can go home. And away they hurried. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine men. Nine. Just nine. One man didn't hurry home. That man wanted to say thank you first. He ran all the way back to Jesus. Thank God, the man shouted. I'm well. Thank you, he said to Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus was pleased, but he was sad, too. Didn't I make ten men well, he asked? Did only one man come back to say thank you? Then he told the man that he could go home. What did we learn? Jesus was pleased when the man thanked him. And Jesus is pleased when you tell him thank you. What could you thank Jesus for right now? We have so many things that we can thank Jesus for. I'm very thankful that I have some place to live and I have food to eat and clothes to wear. I think if you think really hard, you can think of some things to be thankful for too. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you give us everything we need every day. And thank you for loving us so much. Amen. I've been reminded lately that it's almost summertime, and it's almost time for school to be over. So I think this is going to be the last week of Good Morning Preschool, so I thought I would read another one of my very favorite stories. And it's kind of a summertime story because it has a giant strawberry in it. And around here, we can pick strawberries in June, and they are so tasty and sweet. I love strawberries. So this is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Oh my goodness. And it's by Don and Audrey Wood, and it's illustrated by Don Wood, too. And the pictures are beautiful. Oh, I love this story. I know it by heart, too. <laughs> Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, I see. You are going to pick that red ripe strawberry. But, little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh dear, look at his face. Oh, how that bear loves red, ripe strawberries. The big, hungry bear can smell a red, ripe strawberry a mile away. Look at that picture. He's pulling and pulling and pulling and trying to get the strawberry to let go. Especially one that has just been picked. Oh dear. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and he will find that strawberry. No matter where it is hidden.
trying to bury it. Or who is guarding it? Or how it is disguised. Do you know what disguised means? It means to dress up like something else so nobody recognizes you. That's a silly disguise for a strawberry. Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Cut it in two. That means cut it in half. Share half with me. Mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> I'll eat that up. And we'll both eat it up. Yum, yum. Now, that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. <laughs> he can't get it because it's in his tummy. There he is. The end. And look what is on his head. That's the green part of the strawberry. Isn't that a fun book? Did we ever see the bear? We did not ever see the bear, but look at the back. What's that? That's the shadow of the bear. Isn't that cool? I love that story. Now I think we should get a chick report. I put the chicks in with the big girls today. Oh dear, it went okay, but let's go see how they're doing. Ah, the big girls are meeting the little girls. Hi, Luce, come here. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Clara, what do you think? Hi, Clara. Look, this is Lucy. Go see Lucy. Come here, Luce. Oh, hello. Hi, duck. Come here, duck. Come here, duck. Hi. Yeah. Come on over. Oh, say hello. Oh, oh. How about today we sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm? because I just learned that Marley went and collected 11 eggs with her grandpa. What a great thing to do with your grandpa, Marley. I bet that was fun, and 11 eggs is a lot of eggs. He must have a lot of chickens. So let's sing about the chickens. Old MacDonald had a farm. Sing about so many animals on Old MacDonald's farm, couldn't we? How about 
about we sing the song that Pastor used to sing with us all the time? Love, love, love. Remember that one? love this one. I know Jude likes this one too. Here's our caterpillar. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. Crawl with me, my darling. Then what does he turn into? Wraps a cocoon around himself. I'm a cocoon now, what'll I be? I'm a cocoon now, what'll I be? I'm a cocoon now, what'll I be? What'll I be, my darling? And then what happens? God makes him into a butterfly. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. Fly with me, my darling. Good job. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song together. Well, goodbye, my friends. We'll see you for our last class on Friday next time. Bye-bye.